Hey everyone, we're gonna take a s snapshot and make a template in VMware today. Um, here we have Windows Server 2008. I just did a clean install. So we're gonna take a template or a, take a snapshot to make a template. Then we're gonna copy our server folder to a backup location. So to begin with this process, we're going to shut this down quick here. Alright, our next step is to Make sure Windows Server 2008 is selected. Click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings. And then we're, we're going to click on the Options tab, and we're going to go to Advanced. And we're going to make sure Enable Template Mode is checked. And it's already checked. OK, and then click OK. Then we're going to go up to our Windows Server 2008 again. Left click on it, and then right click on it, and then go to take a snapshot. And we're going to name this our snapshot, our new snapshot, clean install. And we'll put a date down here. Alright, the snapshot was made. You can even check it out in the snapshot manager if you want. As you can see, I did a snapshot earlier of the install. But here is the one that was just made, as you can see in the description. Okay, our next step is to um, click on clone to make our template. Next. As you can see, we put the date in the description, so select the correct one with the snapshot that we just created. We're going to create a full clone, so we're going to back up everything. We don't want it linked to anything if we're backing it up. And we're going to finish. And the cloning process is going to take place. And it's probably going to take about 5 to 10 minutes. So we're going to pause this recording for now and resume after it's done. Okay, our cloning has just completed. And it has been stored. We will go to our C users Eric documents virtual machines folder and find our cloned folder, our newly cloned folder. And we'll go to virtual machines. And here's our new newly cloned folder here. You can see everything's in it. And we're gonna store this to an external backup location. So we're gonna copy this. We're gonna go to our external drive and we are going to put it in there and that concludes this tutorial thanks for watching